Hey, thanks for coming by. This is my 1974 Volkswagen Bay Window T2 Transporter, uh, nine passenger originally. They call it a tin top because it doesn't have a camper on it. Uh, the seats aren't in it anymore. Who knows where those went over the years. But uh, it's empty now, pretty decent on the inside, pretty decent under, on the underside. Uh, but today we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull the dash out of this so I can clean it up. It's got some rust spots on it. Uh, typically with these the bay window will weep a lot and leak uh, even if the seal's good and that water just runs down into a channel underneath the front window and it will rust that whole area and this has got some rust so some of the paint's peeling but it's not all that bad so for today we're going to go ahead and pull the dash out of here and uh, give it a cleanup Well, I guess we only get to get in this once. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, it does seem to work. Well, it looks like we have a license plate. Alright. We'll go get some new ones, though. Now, let's see. What else do we got in here? Oh, yeah. We have some sunglasses. Okay. And because that's so cool. What do you think? Chips? Alright. Those are pretty, uh, pretty cool. Uh, let's see. We have uh, some sort of uh, power adapter. Yeah, who knows what that's for. We have a receipt for Riley Auto Parts. Uh, let's see what do we got here. Some nuts and some spray paint. Nice. All right. Oh, looks like we've got uh, some brown duct tape. That's awesome. Very cool. Oh, God, yeah. Now those. Yeah. Okay. All right. I know you're going to ask me to do this, so. All right. Are those better? Yeah. All right. Let's keep looking in here. What do we got here? Uh, looks like we have a sound jack adapter for uh, headphones to, uh, or for a cell phone up to a radio or something. Hmm. All right. Looks like we have a piece of a time machine. Oh! Yeah, that. Wow, not really sure what that is. I was going to say a relay, but nah, that looks kind of munged. All right. Uh, huh. Very short measuring tape. Measuring stick. <gasps> Look at that. I think, I think that means we could probably turn something off and on up here. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, hey, look at that. There's a relay. Relays are handy. Not the glove box, though. Oh, there's, uh, there's more registration information. Super new looking uh, rear view mirror. 
Not a rear view mirror, door mirror. Ooh, rusty bits, those are good. Oh, look at that, another handle. I think now we can make things hot. And, voila, we can make things cold. I don't know, red doesn't mean cold. All right, looks like we have a real start or a switch of some sort. Feels like a real start. Turning something up and down. Looks like uh, we're gonna do some home electronics. Ah, those are always good. Um, at least they're not uh, got house wiring nuts. Yeah, let's see what else we have here. Oh yeah. We'll have to look in the rest of the uh, truck to see if we get our Hello Kitty Bluetooth speaker. I'll bet you that's what that adapter was for, that power adapter. Um, some tires. Maybe that's the one tire that's on the truck that's new. Let's see. What to do in time of an accident? Damn. I don't know if I can see that skin. So let's not show any personal information there. Take two. Oh, what is this? Oh, it looks like uh, that's what we do in case of an accident. That's nice. All right. Well, we have uh, something that says Volkswagen on it. I'm going to guess that's a cover that goes over a uh, seatbelt or something. All right. We have some sort of green clippy wire. Always good to have uh, clips. Or I could say roach clips. This is a hippie bus. <laughs> Of course, I don't know, 1974, we really passed hippie-age. All right. Getting down to the drags here, but still, entertaining. All right, what do we got here? Make sure we don't have, nope. Don't want to show that kind of stuff. Don't need uh, people's addresses around. Or registration stuff. What do we have here? This is... Too quick, German Auto. That's funny. In Tacoma, even. So it looks like we had some work done. Not much, though. Uh, it looks like uh, only a hundred bucks or something. I got a look. What is it? It said reset timing, no timing scale, and engine install customer specified scale. Engine crankshaft alternator are rusty, need cleaning, belt replacement, clutch needs adjustment, brakes need adjusted, rear and bled. What's this dated? This is dated 2016, so about four years ago. It looks like uh, this van came from Puyallup. Funny, I bought it up in Mount Vernon, about 130 miles north of Puyallup, so that should be kind of cool to bring it back to Puyallup and see uh, somebody might go, oh my god, there's my house painted uh, bus. All right, uh, we got some more uh, uh, the German ceramic fuses. Uh, hoop. Uh, part of a windshield to some uh, airplane. Uh, more fuses. Uh, the bladed kind, which of course don't work on here, because <laughs> there are any oh, what I'm aware of. And a few of the Germany. Bullets. And more fuses. Hmm, I'm sensing something here. And looking at the dregs in here, we've got a few more fuses. A uh, drill bit. That's always good. Miscellaneous screw. That's nice. Some dust. And uh, some coinage. Let's see if we can pull a date off that. Can you see that? 77. That's close. This is a 74 day. All right. Empty. And it looks like we just need a lot of WD-40 all over the place on all sorts of stuff in here. Wow. Looks like uh, this is missing a little bit. But other than that, the dash doesn't look shabby, really. The uh, oh, oh my god crap handle is good. Huh. Well, what do you know?
All right, let's start here. We are gonna go ahead and disconnect the battery first. All right, so there's our battery. We've undone the positive there. Take a little peek back here. You can see that uh, the heater vents are missing. They come up here that would normally be a fan that sits up here. That fan's sitting on the front of the uh, front floor of the cab and we'll get that fixed. It would normally push air through here and then down a tube and heat the front of the cab, but hey, it's summer, who cares? Other one's missing on this side too. All right, and uh, I found out that this engine is actually two years older than the bus and it was changed from a dual carb to a single and it's a 1700 cc engine so it still uh, pushes the uh, bus around just fine for a pancake motor and uh all right next step is up to the cab all right we're up to the cab all right uh you <laughs> grass yay you can see that uh, we have the radio delete here. Uh, well, the radio pass there. Here is our uh, where our instrument cluster goes. I've already pulled that out. That's sitting inside the house. I've done a few repairs on that. I've got a gear coming for the uh, odometer, so it can actually count the miles. Uh, the uh, speedometer does work. It looks like somebody at some point had vigorously cleaned the dash uh, gauges and busted the little seal on the, the glass, so the glass was leaning up against the speedometer uh, needle, so it didn't uh, register accurately. And according to paperwork I found in here, it's only got 300 miles in the last six years, so I think that gear has been broken for a while. Okay, so we have our... Uh, missing a curtain All right. So we have our uh, battery unhooked. One of the first steps that uh, you should do is you should take your instrument cluster out. You will also have to undo your speedometer cable. Uh, it just unscrews from the back of your speedometer. Pretty easy, just slide it out. And then there's four screws that hold your dash instrument cluster on, undo those. And then I would recommend taking a lot of pictures, and that's why you see all these pieces of, excuse me, of tape. I've taken pictures of the instrument cluster on the back as I pulled the dash out to go ahead and give me a good idea where they go back in place. Uh, at the end of the video, I will also give you a really good place to go to grab replacement bulbs for these that are LED that last a long time. You can get them in like five or six different colors. So. For taking the dash off, there are eight screws along the top here. There's a couple on the side here. There are a couple of, oh, I think 13 millimeter bolts that hold the column here to the dash. And then uh, we'll have to get the little plate that's on this other side too. And then in theory, uh, all we have to do is take our switches out. They're all along here. And then it can slide straight out the passenger side. So I've done uh, two screws on each side, the plates, 
eight screws along the back. And then according to uh, people, there's two bolts in your head to hold this on. Or the dash to this game. All right, freshly painted. Oh, the outlets. 